Hello friends, Jason for Trek Guys taking a look at Netflix. Losses continue after Friday's breakdown below 282.66. We've got a small indecision candlestick here, which has got a small body and long upper and lower wicks, just showing a lot of volatility and really a lack of direction. Momentum is to the downside. RSI is a 28.23 on the daily time frame. So we have a candidate for a bounce. And we'll need to keep an eye on things as they develop. Key resistances are going to be high and low of today's action because we don't have a lot to work with. Below today's low day, we have support at 249.80 and 231.23. So we need to see what pre-market holds for us, what the overall direction is going to do for us as we head into tomorrow morning. On the four-hour time frame, bears are in control. Our last high, 273.93, setting that high a day. And then likewise, low a day, 261.97 is that current support for our bears in control of everything. And on the hourly time frame, the story is very much the same. We did get an hourly higher high, lost 266 in a pretty big way early this morning, and we've carved out that 261.97 support. Currently bulls battling the EMA 12, and we also have an hourly bounce resistance at 266.73. If we go to our five minute time frame, that makes a little bit more sense. There's a high of that bounce, and bulls just never managed to get over top of that. So tomorrow morning, what will we be watching for? We will be looking for a more sustained and established hourly trend. We need to see, well, I'd like to see a little bit of rejection from 266.73, maintaining higher lows on the 15-minute time frame, and then breaking that level. Should we be able to do that, we will look at continuing this daily bounce, looking for a break over 273.39, which would have us on our way to an EMA 12 test on the daily time frame. Failure to do that, well, we're just looking for more bearish action, and we will continue to scout for those potential trend changes to give us those daily bounce levels as bulls try to carve out a new area of support down in the range of 260. Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys, taking a look at Apple. Nice indecision candlestick sandwich between our 4 and 12 EMAs. Little upper and lower wicks, small little body here. And what is key for me is we've got an area of support at 217.47. Below that, we also have a little bit of daily support, should we lose that, at 217.02. So Bear is spending a lot of time down here hammering these levels, but Bull's defending so far. So what we want to see is going to be a break of today's high of day in tomorrow's action, which would should signal an hourly trend change. And if we go to the four hour time frame, here's that range, a big drop, and we see a nice tight channel as we approach our EMA 12 and 26. RSI is happy at 45.82, but if bears cannot, or bulls cannot get in control of the situation and get a high over top of 222.56, we're gonna be looking at a more extended four hour downtrend. There is a potential to form up into an equilibrium here. And what we would be looking at for that is 226.42, our new lower high, 223.76, 222.56, and then our couple of our low levels, 216.30, and currently 217.40. So should we lose 217.40 and we take out 216.30, that would be a fair break of this equilibrium. We would look to daily supports, and we don't find much for supports for the bulls until uh, about 211.07. Should we break bull, which would be fantastic, we would take out 222.56, and the big daily resistance is, of course, going to be 226.42, eyes on the prize for major upside continuation. But ultimately, a lot of indecision. It all comes down to what these bulls are going to do inside this potential four-hour equilibrium, and this is why we have that nice, tight candlestick with those long upper and lower wicks and ultimately ending the day right in mid-range. We are getting to the midpoint of that equilibrium and a decision needs to be made. Hopefully tomorrow morning we will have some clarity and some good trade opportunities. The spring is coiling for Apple and I wanna see this result in some profitable situations for you guys. Hey right, guys, taking a look at Amazon. Nice little green day today. This does not have a lot of significance for me because it was really just an hourly oversold bounce. We'll get to that in a minute, but we do have a couple of supports that were carved out for us. Today's low day, 1767.32, and then the high of the most recent daily high, or the daily lower high, 1832.57, so we need to keep an eye on those levels. Should we lose 1767, our next support? Well, we actually have a basis support down at 1743.51. So why isn't this significant? Let's go take a look at the hourly time frame. Here we are in an hourly downtrend uh, we were oversold, our RSI was about 25. We see a nice little inside bar, almost an inside bar, 
bull break, and currently we're rejecting from our EMA 26. So today's range was simply that oversold bounce on Amazon and now rejecting from EMA 12. In order to make this real and change this hourly trend, bulls need to get over 17 point or 1794.16. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lower high and we'll expect continuation with a lower low underneath 1767. Bulls need to prove themselves in order to convert this hourly trend into something more substantial. Until they do until they do that, it's just going to be a continuation of this hourly bear trend. 4 hour time frame showing inside bars, downside continuation likely in this case. And on the 15 minute time frame, we've got just a lot of indecision. We had a nice uptrend, we've given up our levels, and now we're, we're teetering in after hours with a potential 15 minute bear flag. So yeah, it's all about the hourly trend. Can bulls get over 1794.16 and change that trend? If not, then we're gonna look for continuation to the downside on the daily. Hey guys, taking a look at Tesla. Bulls didn't show up in a big way, but neither did the bears. We are holding EMA 12 support. We've got an inside bar today, and we didn't really have any follow through on what should have been, what we wanted to be, a nice continuation bull flag. So now we, not, we need to figure out what the story is. What's the narrative behind today's action and the preceding action? And I think that really gets spelled out uh, most eloquently on the four hour time frame. So what we're gonna look for is continuation of this trend until it changes we have four hour or sorry we have daily support at 238.16 and then i want to see lower day hold tomorrow 239.22 of course if you're bullish you want to see that and uh, we have daily resistance at 245.18 so that's the range of our inside bar if we get a nice break at 245.18 depending on what our rsis look like on the hourly time frame as we approach those levels we will look for some continuation following a potential break at 248.17. So that's what we're looking at there. Should we lose 238.16? We got quite a ways to fall. We likely will be looking to carve out new supports on hourly RSI levels because we do not really have anything on the daily time frame until, well, this potential trend and then way down here, there is our last major attack by the bears at 219.21. So we definitely don't want to lose out on that story. So let's go ahead and check out the four hour time frame. This is where things make a little bit more sense. We're in a four hour downtrend. So what we've got is our high. We've got a lower high at 248.24, nearly a double top, slightly underneath that. And then again, a slight lower high at 247.94 and below that we are just continue to set lower lows so we are in indeed in a four hour uptrend until bulls can get over top of well the most recent attempt 247.94 but also this is going to be an issue for the hourly bulls 245.98 should we fail to do that we are going to be looking for support at the low at 238.16 on the hourly time frame there's that story double bottom support there's that high, bulls need to maintain a high, higher low over 238.07 and look for a break at 245.18. Should we do this tomorrow in a nice casual pace, that sets us up well to break that 247.94. If we go to the four hour time frame, let's see if we can draw this in to have a nice little eloquent, beautiful trajectory. And what I'm gonna do is just take those two dots and two dots do not a turn to make, but it helps us visualize. And what we're trying to do is just capture most of that trading action. So as long as we stay inside this area and the four hour time frame, we're going to be setting lower highs and lower lows. So we need to watch those hourly trends and see who is in control of the hourly trend and how that may shift on the 15 minute time frame as we approach our key resistance and support levels on this trend. Anyway, that's it for today. Let's see these inside bar bulls can give us a little action tomorrow. And we will watch those key levels for resistance and upside continuation. If the bears indeed uh, go on the offensive, uh, be very cautious as we've got a long way to fall.